Book of Freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara. Like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara. To be king of the bush, his destiny. In the secret mountain veins, through the mist and ancient trees. Like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And a king, yes, a king he will be. strange how even things you are used to can scare you when you're in the mood to be scared. And after what Boon Boon had gone through when captured by Charlie's father, she was still very wary. <gasps> oh! It's okay, Boon Boon. It's okay. Nothing to worry about. If you don't confront your fears or find a way of beating them, they can stay with you for a long time. Thaura knew this, which was why he was so worried about Boon Boon and why he was searching for a safe haven. Like anywhere, the high country was full of things that could frighten you. If you let them. <gasps> Thaura, be careful, that big rock! What about it? It's swaying, it's gonna fall! It's not gonna fall, Boon Boon. That rock's been there ever since I can remember and it's never moved. You're still frightened after your capture and... Dara, look out! <sighs> How do you like that? That rock's been there for thousands of years and... Urella! Oh, uh, sorry, Thaura. I was just looking for you when I bumped that rock. But I'll come right down. No! Don't! Yeah! Are you all right? I think so. No bones broken. You gave us quite a scare. At this rate, poor Boon Boon will never get over being captured. I'm sorry, Boon Boon. I didn't mean to frighten you. The sooner we can find a hiding place where men on horses can't reach, the better. Boon Boon will never stop feeling frightened until there's somewhere she knows she's safe. Let's find it quickly. I've been looking. Let's see what the three of us can do. Let's try down the South Ridge. Come on. Getting impatient, Echo. <laughs> Won't be long now. The last snow should have gone and we'll head up to the high country now. Getting jealous, Golden, eh? Well, you can't come this time, girl. You're not ready yet. You're not fully recovered from that wild boar attack. Maybe next year, when you're fully healed. <laughs> Still pining for your mate, the Silver Brumby, eh? Well, I'll tell you what. This time, I'll bring him back for you. You can both be together. Might stop you moping.
Don't be relaxed while you're drinking. Trouble's on the way, is what I'm thinking. Hi, Mopoke. What's up? Golden shouted a warning. I think you should hear. The man's on his way again, I fear. The man? What? Did you actually see him? The man and his horse just as large as life. When he comes to the high country, he always brings strife. Strife indeed. I wonder if he'll ever give up trying to capture me. He'll come when the snow melts just as long as he can. It's become an obsession, that silly man. Well, you're right, Mopoke. And I'd better start thinking clearly if he's on his way. I still have to find a safe hideout. And I'm still worried about Boon Boon. I'll check out the man's hut and see if there's any sign of him yet. You don't know any secret hideaway, do you? Ooh, hiding out is not my game. I close my eyes. It's much the same. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Mopoke. Right now, Bindi and Worry, pay attention. The key to survival in the bush is stealth. Stealth in both your hunting and eluding those who may be hunting you. Hunting us? But who'd want to hunt us? Well, firstly, you can be bitten by a poisonous spider or a snake, but if you leave them alone, they should leave you alone. What else? The eagle is a great danger. There's nothing an eagle likes more than a nice, juicy dingo pup for his dinner. Uh, and um, what else? Man is a danger. We can outrun him, but we can't outrun a bullet from his gun. Oh. But enough of that for now. I'm going to give you both a hunting lesson. Follow me and stay close. Keep your eyes open for a nice, juicy frog. They're particularly delicious this time of year. Follow me. There's nothing an eagle likes more than a nice juicy dingo pup for his dinner. Oh no, where did he get to? Mrs. Dingo? Oh, Thara. It's that other pup of mine, Worai. No sense, that one. One minute he was right behind us, next minute he's gone. Lost again. Maybe I could help you find him. I was on my way to check out the man's hut, but that can wait. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. W we picked up his scent, but it mysteriously just stops right here. It's as though he simply vanished into thin air. Hmm. Strange. But all we can do is search. I'll get the others to help, including Mopoke. He can carry out an aerial search. Baby Dingo! Baby Dingo! Yoo-hoo! Baby Dingo! Baby Dingo! Baby Dingo! Uh, oh, I think I hear something. Huh? What? I can't hear anything, or see anything. This part of the bush always seems to be obscured in mist. <gasps> yes, there it is again. It sounds like Warai. Thara, Boon Boon, over here. We may have found him. Bindi, come back. <coughs> Just 
fallen over the edge, but I can still hear him. Oh, no. Did you see the bottom? How could he survive such a fall? And what about Warai? How could he have got down there? I... Oh, I don't know. Nothing makes sense. Yes, it does. <gasps> Bindi! Where did you come from? I... I saw you fall. Don't worry, Mum. I'm not a ghost. <laughs> Just follow me. Bindi, no! But is it safe? I'm as safe as a frog in a pond. What do you think? Bindi seems safe. But it's up to you. Okay. Here goes. <laughs> Mrs. Dingo, are you all right? No worries. Come on down. There's plenty of room. No worries? I like to see where I'm jumping. It must be all right. I'll go first. No, you don't. I'm no weakling. I'll go first. <laughs> A ledge obscured by the mist. But just look down there. A whole valley. Hidden. Always hidden by a veil of mist. Hmm. And look at that. I can see how Bindi made his way back up. A path to the top. Yep. And look down there! A path to the bottom! Amazing! A secret valley! <coughs> Warai! I can hear him! See? What did I tell you? At least there's nothing wrong with his vocal cords. I can hear him, but I still can't see him. It's the echo. It carries his voice. Come on, we'd better go find him. Careful, it's very narrow here. Better suited to mountain goats than horses. Ha! No problems! Whoops! Yeah! Bindi! Ouch! Did you hear that? It sounded like a canopy? Oh, what's going on? Can't a wombat be safe anywhere? Oh, sorry, Mr. Wombat. <laughs> I guess I slipped. Mindy? Mindy? Mom? Get off me head! Whoops! Oh. oh, no, not you lot again. I left the ram's head to avoid having possums drop on me head. And I get a dingo pop on my head instead! Wombat! Good to see you. How have you been? We missed you. How's the family? Thanks for saving Bindi, Wombat. We can always count on you. <laughs> Thanks for saving Bindi, Wombat. But enough of this nice stuff. <laughs> get out of my way. Wombat, before you go, we're looking for Warai. Have you seen any sign of him? No, certainly not. Not all dingo pups just come dropping out of the sky, you know. Look out! Hey! Oh! Ooh, what's going on? What's going on? Oops! Sorry, Mr. Wombat. Thanks for a safe landing. Warai, where did you come from? Oh, we've been worried sick, searching all over. Sorry, Mum. I. I just kind of went off after a butterfly, then suddenly it turned into an eagle and whisked me off into the air, and the next thing I knew, I was in this bird's nest up there! Hmm. I suppose the important thing is you're safe. Typical. Typical! He's safe and I've got a sore head. How did you get in here, Wombat? Through the entrance. The proper entrance. Where is it? Not telling. This is my secret valley. I saw it first. <laughs> you can all clear out, the lot of you. Uninvited guests. Bah. Tara. Boon Boon. Aye? Mrs Wombat. Baby Wombat. It's great to see you. And you do, Tara. <laughs> all of you. Hello, Dingo Pups. Great to see you. We can play together again. 
Well, it looks as though Ware may have found our secret valley for us, Boon Boon. Yes, a safe haven in times of trouble. But I must go, Thara. I'm feeling better now, really. Well, it takes a while to get over the sort of shock you've been through, Boon Boon. I think I'll go back to my family, Thara, just for a while. I think they'll look after me. Besides, I've got so much to tell them. I'll come with you to make sure there are no men about. I'll be right. I'd feel better. All right. I guess we'd better make sure we recognise the way down here in case we need it again. Unless Wombat wants to tell us about his entrance. That's for me to know and you to find out. And good riddance! Better leave me here, Thara. We're right on the edge of my father's territory. Okay. I don't think this is the afternoon to tempt the Brolga. <laughs> Take care. We've got him this time, Echo. His concentration's elsewhere, and we're upwind. Come on. Observe your rear. Huh? Blast! Gee, thanks, Mopoke. Where would I be without you? Where, indeed. It's a mistake to rely only on speed. Why didn't I sense the man was there? I must be more careful in future. Still, at least we finally discovered a secret valley. A secret valley? That's well found. Now that should be your target ground. Just what I was thinking, Mopoke. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Sorry, Mopoke! Gotta go! Use your magic to the most! Disappear, just like a ghost! Come <laughs> on. 
What? Oh, no! 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 Why would he do that? Why jump? It's certain death. Hurt him, Echo. What a waste. Such a beautiful, noble horse. Silver Brumbeer, or his ghost. <clears throat> Thara, it's really you, not a ghost. We heard you'd leapt to your death. Not this time, Benny. And we've discovered a secret valley. I'll bet the man thinks you're dead. Well, that's what I wanted him to think, and it worked. Now perhaps I can be free of him. Free as the wind. <laughs> so Thara and the others had found their secret valley. And they had their new secret. That the ghost horse was not really a ghost. It was their secret, their protection. They would not tell a soul. But the time would soon come that there were others who had to be let in on the secret. It's a funny thing about doing something good, or something kind. You do it because it feels right, it's proper. It's not so much what's expected, but what you want to do. Whew. Yeah, well, that's the lot. You've done a good job with the polishing, Charlie. You're going to need all these for the rodeo, Dad? Dad? Don't know what got into you the other week, Charlie. Ah, 
end of the line for you, my beauty. got nothing to show for all that work. I'm sorry, Dad. She was so sad. I didn't like it. She was missing her mate terribly, and... Yeah, well, what's done is done. But you've still got to work hard these holidays. We need the money. Reckon we'll fell a few trees in the south paddock and sell them for firewood come winter. And today... But, Dad, Granddad's expecting me today. I told him I'll be back. I can't let him down. I think something's wrong. Well, you should have thought about that before you let that Brumby go. Get through your chores and everything else we've got to do and we'll uh, think about it. Right. See you tonight. I'm going to see if I can make us some money. And no slacking. Day's work in one morning, Grandad. Reckon I deserve a bit of the rest in the high country. Come on, Snowy. Yeah, I know. Dad'll be mad as hell. But I've done what he asked and more. Better get a move on if we're to get there before sunset. Two of us, we should remember the way. Just seen a small human, a boy on a horse, here in the high country. <laughs> yeah, well, so have I. And I almost got trampled on for me trouble. Now get out of me way, I've got no time for gossip and chatter. <laughs> Unlike some I might mention. <laughs> That young troublemaker back to capture the boss's daughter on his own, eh? Getting a bit ambitious, aren't we? This should be entertaining. <laughs> A boy man on a horse. In the high country. Well, here on a horse in the high country. I know, I know. I was following them, you nattering numbskulls. I'm a spy, for heaven's sake. It's my job to know who or what is in or near the mighty Brolga's territory. Ooch! Just trying to be helpful. Well, just being civil, trying to be of service. Doing our good deed for the day. Thinking of others rather than thinking of ourselves. Those less fortunate. Fortune favours the brave. Didn't even say goodbye. 
Not very civil. Not very polite at all. Well, positively rude, in fact. <laughs> Don't worry, Snowy. Just take your time. You're not used to it, that's all. We can still make it by sunset. Must be getting close to the high country now, Snowy. I feel that temperature drop. I don't remember coming this way with Dad. Maybe we should have taken the right-hand track. going, Snowy. Maybe we'll rest for a bit while I work out where we are. Nothing. Where are we? Guess I'm not as smart as I thought I was, Snowy. We're lost. But we're not alone, Snowy. Our friends of the bush are here to help us. Now what would Grandad do? He wouldn't give up, that's for sure. <sighs> Steady, Snowy. It's okay. Whoa, that boy. done a good job, son. Charlie? 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 Stupid kid. No sign of Snowy and no sign of him. No prizes for guessing where he's gone. That damn grandfather of his is a bad influence. Well, he needn't think he'll get away with it. I told him not to go when I catch up with him. Snowy! What happened, Snowy? Where is he? Something spooked you? Did you throw him? Is he hurt? Damn kid. that small human doing in this part of the bush? Oh, he shouldn't be here. Not on foot. Not alone. Where's his horse? Uh, I think we had something to do with that. Are we in trouble? I think he'll be in trouble if we don't get help. We'd better tell someone. We'd better. <laughs> Sorry, my fault. Oh, uh, no, mine. Silly mistake. I do apologise. Ow, oh, my poor traumatised tail. I'm giving up this spying game. It's too dangerous. I never get the credit I deserve. I'm employed by a talk talking to yourself. <laughs> I hope you weren't referring to me. I was merely saying, sire, that I'm employed by a tremendous leader and ruler of all he surveys.